Welcome back to American Home by Heidi. In this video, we're gonna be going through the transformation, renovation, and makeover of this 1970s vintage green bathroom. There's so many DIYs in this. I hope you really enjoy this content and stay tuned to the very end for the great reveal. because you can't tell but these walls are green the tiles green everything's green so I'm working on the ceiling but I just wanted to show you this because I haven't encountered this in the rest of the house but sometimes what happens is from the house shifting I'm climbing up on my ladder sorry um, you'll have cracks in so the here's ceiling. a space where the sheetrock tape came back so I want to make sure because this is the shower I want to make sure that's all sealed up. This is all open as well, but I think I can just fix that with caulk. It's not too much of a gap. So I'm going to start with that and getting the ceiling prepped in this room, and then we'll get to painting. Look at that cool old vintage heat lamp. We're going to keep that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is fixing these cracks. So I have one here. And then there's just a small one here where the mirror vanity was, and now that's just an open hole right now. And I have one above this door. So right now, we took the vanity um, out, the vanity mirror, and now we're just, uh, my loves is getting the sheetrock ready to patch that up, and then I'm gonna be putting a mirror there. And then the plan is to put a light right above here. So I'm gonna patch the walls, then I will tape and get these walls prepped. You can see like there's bumps on these walls, so I will be sanding this down as well to get a nice smooth finish. All you need to patch up any of those cracks, and even you can use this on nail holes, is an all-purpose joint compound um, and a small spatula. So I'm just taking this off. The key to this is not putting a ton on. If you have to do a couple layers, that's one thing, but the more you put on, the more you have to sand. So you're just gonna take a little bit. And you're just gonna see the crack here. And all I'm doing is putting a thin layer on this going down. And then I'm gonna take off the rest, but you can see how it's filling that crack right in. Look at that, awesome. We are back at it. So I got the ceiling painted last night and it needed it. It was very, I almost thought they painted it beige, but it was just not painted in a long time. So that is all bright and white. Right now I'm working on these cabinet doors. Again, we decided to keep them because of how thick they are and they are real wood. So I already sanded down the fronts of these cabinets with just my small sander that I've used prior. And I'm just going to use a damp cloth to remove any of the sawdust. I'm gonna be using Atlantis Pearl, um, which is the same color I used ooh, in my laundry room on the tram and also in the family room on the trip. So all those rooms are downstairs and I don't like a bunch of colors in a house. I like, you know, blended colors. So that's the plan. I was having a hard time because upstairs in our small bathroom, I painted the vanity one color and the walls a different color. I did that in our mudroom bathroom as well as the master bedroom bathroom, which I can show you that video that I did. Um, because of the tile, it goes halfway up the wall. Um, I just think there's too much going on to add different colors. So 
So I am going to paint the trim and the cabinet doors all one color. And I'm gonna paint the wall of color the same, Atlanta's Pearl. Um, so we'll see if we like it. I'm hoping so. Um, when you have a lot of tile, especially green, and you have the green tub and the green this, I think it might be a little bit better than using a couple of colors. I just cannot find these hinges. If you guys know where these hinges are online, please let me know. <laughs> They're just, this is like one inch and I can't find them. So I'm thinking I'm giving them chrome. I've been picking out hardware um, online that I will be replacing. I'm not going to be painting um, this hardware. I just wiped those cabinets down and I have the fan going on them before I paint. So while those are drying, I'm going to take my little sander again. I'm just going to sand the outside and just quickly sand the inside of these cabinets. <music> well due to humidity and or sometimes due to especially real wood doors um, due to the house settling so this door here as you can see I cannot close this because it's too um, wide um, of a door right now so I'm going to use this this is a cobalt let me get the package it's called a cobalt trimming plane and this is just what it looks like on the back side here is actually the blade right now the blades down so it comes with a little screw up top and you just adjust it I'm not gonna go a lot with this you can see the angle here so you can either make it more or less I'm gonna start less for right now and I'm just gonna take off a little bit at a time and then you just once you get the blade where you need to be, you just take a screwdriver to tighten, oops, sorry, tighten this up. So now what I'm doing is I'm just looking and the bottom is definitely much further out than the top. Everything has been taped off and I just placed the first coat of paint on. I like the paint. It looks very white in here. It's actually a little off-white, um, but it does match the towel. Oh, excuse me. The tile. I found some wood outlet plates, but they're not sealed. And because this is going into a bathroom, I want to make sure they're definitely sealed. And the goal is to, these are wood um, door and drawer pulls, so I want to make sure that um, they match. But just nice thin coats when you're doing this, and you can see how it changes the color if you want a natural look. You also can um, stain these if you want a darker. and they haven't been cleaned is to use that denatured alcohol you wipe it on it dries and then this stuff is amazing this is called restore finish it comes in different colors I'm using golden oak it fills in any cracks scratches you have it's really good stuff this alcohol denatured alcohol look at what it took off that door so if you have any of those spots around your handles from constant opening and closing if you just rub this gently with the alcohol denatured alcohol it will come all off so now i'm using this to fill in 
the rest of the door. This rod right here was actually broken when we moved in and they placed a uh, curtain rod in here. So I found this, it's clear, I found this on Amazon. reveal. So follow me in and let's see how it looks. watching that video and I hope it inspired you and please hit subscribe and like if you like this content as I'll have many other renovations in this home to share with you. Now I